What is up guys? I am Sobash. Welcome back. We are back with some more Paladin Strike. I do apologize for not having anything up over the holidays and I do wish everyone did have a happy holiday. Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate. But yeah, we have uh, some information that I want to talk about. Of course, we did learn in the last video that I did the about the Dev 3.5 update that there is going to be a new champion that's going to be coming out, which is Tyra. Of course, Tyra is currently already in Paladin. She has been for almost a year now. Um, I'm assuming it's a year. I don't know the exact date, but I did do a little bit of research. Now, looking back at some of this, Tyra, of course, is going to be a damage type character. We did confirm that uh, after talking to a couple guys in the dis discussion of the last video that we did if you have not seen that and want to learn about more of what's going to be coming in the next update in the next week or so make sure you go check that video out i'll leave it in the description below but we've got a little bit of speculation to do about tyre what type of abilities is she going to have is her playstyle going to be similar to what she is in the actual game and who can we kind of compare her to so what i want to start out with is her abilities her abilities um in paladins itself She's got an auto rifle, which does direct damage and it fires a shot every 0 0.09 seconds, which is super fast for Paladin Strike. Uh, I would see it being more on the level of what Victor is. He's got a 0.15 second uh, cooldown on his auto attacks, but it's going to be out of a, a medium range. I'm going to kind of categorize her something very similar to what Victor is. Now, they're both. They both shoot guns, of course, and they're going to have something similar as in like a possibly one of her other abilities, which is the uh, right click for the Paladin's version, which is a nade launcher. She's going to fire a grenade out that deals some form of damage in an area of effect. So she's possibly going to have an AOE damage ability that does anywhere from probably three to 500 damage possibly. I don't know what type of damage modifier they're going to set with it to make it scale with the game, but look for it being something similar possibly to Victor's bomb itself. And let's see what else she might possibly have would be the Hunter's Mark, of course, where she marks an enemy for six seconds and that marked enemy is revealed regardless and they take 15% extra increased damage from basic attacks. Now what that could come in handy with is like your people that are going to be going invis, like Sky, of course, uh, that would prob probably keep her from going invis. Uh, so if they do transfer this ability over, it's going to be really effective at possibly countering some of these flank people that are, yeah, they're just gonna run in without you knowing. But comparable to that, there's not really, I don't think there's a mark type ability that I've seen so far from any of these champions. There could be, now don't get me wrong, there could be. I've, it's been a while since I've played through all of them still. But there could be some changes to these abilities. Like I said, these are from Paladins currently. I wanted to talk about it. I told you guys in the last video that I would make a video kind of speculating and talk about her abilities. Uh, she's got another ability with area damage on it as well from Paladins, which is called Firebomb. Uh, that's basically where she throws an incendiary device out and it leaves a pool of fire for six seconds. And enemies that come in contact, they'll get burned for 9% of their maximum health over 0.6 seconds. They also will have healing reduced by 50%. Now that's a really huge ability all packed into one. I could see that working really effectively in Paladin Strike because the area of effect damage does well. That would be really good for capturing points as well because if you're going in against an entire team, you're gonna wanna have range, of course. She's got the range. She can drop a firebomb on the mark and it's going to force them off of the point because if they stay there, they're going to get hurt very severely. Uh, and of course, her ultimate in Paladins is Crossfire, where she gains 40% attack speed and 40% movement speed for 4.5 seconds, and the firing does not consume ammo. Now, that would fall very well in line with the way Paladin Strike is built out. Everything's very linear. You know, you have you got your X and Y axis. That's pretty much it. There's no going up and down. Boots on the ground. So, 40% attack speed and movement speed, that's that's pretty good boost for Paladin Strike. So I could see that working out fairly well for Tyra in Paladin Strike if they do have this moved over. Now we will be knowing some more about this. Like I said, 
in the last video hrx is coming up it is in almost a week from today that this will be going on and like i said they will be live streaming this in the last video i told you that uh, i believe it's 9 15 eastern time so i'll have to confirm that again and go back and check but make sure you guys do pay attention to what they are doing at hrx uh, if they live stream something i'm very curious as well so i will be tuning into that but let's also take a look at what her legendaries will would possibly be you've got the possibilities of let's see first blood which is one of her legendary cards from paladins where she gains 30 percent life still now 30 percent life still and paladin strike that's a bit op that's that's right out the gate op and i mean especially for a damaging type character one that's gonna have severe range on you multiple grenade type things and incendiaries and then she can move 40 percent faster and attack faster yeah that's that's kind of similar to what victory can do if he picks up the uh the points off of leveling up which i'm referring to the talent points now they also have the legendary rune of hunting party which is a hunter's mark the hunter's mark damage increase now also benefits the allies as well so i could see that working in paladin strike as well and of course you have uh, mercy kill the nade launcher deals up to 100 additional damage based on the target's health missing uh that's very interesting because there are some abilities that are like that as well in paladin strike which you'll believe sky is one her ultimate does that as well so there's a lot of things that do transition for this character very well over to Paladin Strike. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. We have roughly about a week left before we do see probably some legit information. Now, I'm not saying none of this that I have told you guys is not legit. This is just a comparison of like what she could possibly be coming from Paladins to Paladin Strike. And I just wanted to inform you guys kind of way that way we kind of know what we could possibly expect from them but we're going to try to learn some more about this really soon this weekend we're going to try to have a special guest on from paladins that way we can talk about this and see what else we can come up with in our brains and see if we can't speculate it before they actually do release it at hrx next week but that's pretty much it for this video guys um if you have any questions would you like to add to the conversation if you think you might know what her abilities or her legendary runes may be feel free to leave that in the comment section down below but thank you so much for watching guys if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on and also slap a like on this video as it does help us out a lot and that being said guys Thank you again. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Sobash. You guys have a nice day.